Okay, so this is question 8, part B, from June 2014. Uh, this is asking you to describe, uh, to describe the structure and function of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi body, and the lysosomes. Okay, again, this, this is a relatively straightforward essay. As long as you know the basic uh, cell structure of the organelles, uh, you should be fine. Uh, for this one, the examiner will allow some diagrams, but I'll explain that as I go through the, the mark scheme. So, uh, first off then, this is what the examiner wanted for the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Flattened sacs or cisterni. You could have used a diagram there. Okay. Uh, part B, continuous with the nuclear membrane or from diagram. So if I just show you a quick picture of uh, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, that's what it looks like. Okay, but the when it says it's continuous with the uh, uh, nuclear membrane, if you remember, the nuclear membrane has uh, a double layer, it's a double membrane. Okay, so it's the outer membrane there that forms this um, rough endoplasmic reticulum. So this point here, point number one, would be the rough endoplasmic reticulum coming out now of part number two, which is the nuclear envelope. Okay. Um, next then, attachment of ribosomes. Again, that could be done on a diagram. Okay, there's the ribosomes on the diagram, the little brown dots, or they are the little black ones in the electron microscope image of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Next is the function mark. It is the site of protein synthesis, okay, and it's also a transport system. So proteins are transported through the, um, the flattened sacs throughout the cell. Okay, next one is the Golgi body. So structure-wise now, um, it consists of a series of, or a stack of flattened sacs. Okay, if you draw a diagram, you must show at least three of these. So this is what the Golgi looks like. You can see here there's one, two, three, four of the flattened sacs. Okay, which can also be called cisterni. All right. Um, the other structural features of the Golgi are you get vesicles here that come from the rough endoplasmic reticulum and they fuse or join with each level of the flattened sacs. Uh, the other side up here, you actually get the release of vesicles and they can actually go then to the cell membrane. So... Um, Vesicles here, part G, vesicles containing proteins from the rough ER fuse with the Golgi. So that's what I've just um, mentioned there. Uh, if we go to marking point J, that's the vesicles um, budding off from the other side of the Golgi. Okay. Uh, in terms of functions then, it's packaging proteins, which is point F. Um, the other one is, um, it should be one here, modifying, uh, oh, here it is, marking point H, okay, you can modify molecules to make glycoproteins, so that's adding uh, sugars to proteins, okay. Um, the other function there is, of course, secretion of substances out of the cell, so that's what happens. Uh, if we go to this arrow here, arrow number one, the vesicles move up to the cell membrane, as I've said, and they will release or secrete substances out. So that could be hormones, enzymes, anything really. Um, you could have had reference to exocytosis. So that's, again, exocytosis is another term for um, substances being released from the cell. So, there's the structural features as well as the functions there of the Golgi. 
Liza zones then uh, there's not really much to talk about in terms of their structure they look really like uh, vesicles or large vesicles so functions is they contain digestive enzymes okay uh, the function is actually to break down and digest old worn out organelles which is M um, another function they've got in the mark scheme is that they can be used as part of um, digestion of nutrients so you can have these vacuoles in some organisms that um, they'll fuse with those vacuoles and digest substances inside okay uh, phagocytosis of course you can talk about the digestion of bacteria phagocytosis is the movement in of a substance or a protein or a bacterium and uh, the lysosomes will help uh, digest anything that's found inside um, a vesicle by phagocytosis okay so there's just a little uh, marking points down here award only eight marks if only two organelles are described points a b c and e can be accepted from clear diagrams okay so that's the functioning and the structure of those three organelles